the operating model of the organization is the number one thing that we're actually transforming. Once the operating model and the structure of the organization has been changed, we are going to enable that with the practices. But those practices only make conceptual sense in an organization that has been aligned around teams, aligned around business capabilities, aligned around value streams, right? Is tied to the strategic objectives of the organization. If you lead with culture, you find yourself making a lot of promises that in the absence of alignment, in the absence of the solid practices, ain't gonna work, right? And what you guys need to know is change agent within your organization is how each of those three facets are going to lead towards the business outcomes that you want. If you bet on practices, you've gotta have a hypothesis for how those practices are going to impact the other two things. If I teach people Scrum or SAFE or XP or Kanban or whatever, is teaching them the practices going to help them change culture if the, the ecosystem that they're operating in that you're applying those practices within is not congruent? So sometimes the practices in and of themselves don't necessarily drive the change. If you are going down the culture path, what you're fundamentally doing is you're suggesting that if I can change culture, that the way the group uh, forms teams and the way that it does governance and the way that it does um, interactions and the way that it intakes work, that all of that stuff will change. So is culture going to help us remove dependencies? Because I know that if I can get the organization structured right and enable it with the right practices and demonstrate to at least a subset of the organization that this works in a better way, then I can get the culture of the organization to come along.